Hello great doctors, welcome to Dr. Led channel and the YouTube. Thanks for watching my video today and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive all the new updates. So today we are going to talk about one of the most important topics which is confusion in elderly. So confusion elderly is one of the challenging situations you need to be prepared to in order to know how to deal with it and in order to know how to deal with it you need to know the causes for confusion so today I have made a confusion mnemonic in order to help you remember the causes for confusion and this mnemonic actually is confusion as well so let's start so C in the confusion mnemonic stands for constipation so constipation in elderly patients especially if it's prolonged or for a long period of time can lead to confusion so C stands for constipation O stands for organ failure if a patient is presenting to you with organ failure she or he can have confusion so one of the most important causes for confusion is organ failure for example if a patient is presenting to you with liver failure this can lead to hepatic encephalopathy and kidney failure or heart failure as well so O stands for organ failure N stands for neoplasm and nutrition. If a patient is having cancer presenting to you, for example, if a patient is coming to you with brain tumor, this can lead to confusion. And if a patient is presenting to you with poor nutrition, this can lead to confusion as well. F stands for fall. If a patient is coming to you with a fall or presenting in the ANE department with fall for example she or he can hit his or her head to the ground and can has brain bleeding or cerebral bleeding and this can lead to confusion as well so F stands for fall U stands for UTI if a patient is having prolonged urinary tract infection this can lead to confusion especially if he or she is old patient s stands for stroke and sepsis so 85 percent of strokes are due to blockage in the brain and these are called stenic strokes just a small tip and sepsis as well can lead to confusion so s stands for stroke and sepsis insulin i stands for insulin and by insulin i mean if a patient is coming to you with hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia because hypoglycemia can lead to confusion and hyperglycemia can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis and confusion as well so i stands for insulin O stands for alcohol. O stands for alcohol because alcohol is one of the most common causes for confusion, especially if a patient is a heavy drinker. So, alcohol is one of the most important causes for confusion in elderly. And N stands for pneumonia. If a patient is coming to you with chest infection this can lead to confusion as well so please keep it in your mind so thanks so much for watching my video today kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit like if you like this video thanks so much and if you need any help or support please let me know i'll be more than happy to help and support you thanks so much and see you again